Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about battle belts. So about once a year, I like to go through my battle belt setup, and this being that we're in the midst of this Minuteman series here, this kind of seemed appropriate to review it. Uh, now again, this is not my going to be my default loadout, you know, that will be my webbing which I do have another video coming up here sometime in the future where we'll review that again because it's gone through a couple iterations. However, right now we're just talking about normal, quote unquote, everyday battle belts. So this is my current setup and my philosophy behind it. Uh, first of all, the belt itself is the Warrior, the Warrior Poet Society belt. Uh, that is made in conjunction with Blue Alpha gear. Had it for a couple years now, really like it. Uh, it is one of those belts that has the Velcro inner belt. And then, you know, this is the angry side of the Velcro here. That Velcro is over that. So big fan of that system. When you lock it on, I mean, it is solid. It's not going anywhere. Starting over here on the right hand side, uh, I just have a light. Honestly, I was thinking about this and this might even come off. In general, I like to have a handheld white light, but since I've been moving into more night vision-y stuff, um, I just don't know how much I really necessarily need that. I haven't used it a lot as is. So that might disappear next year on the iteration. We'll find out. Uh, Glock 19. This is in a T-Rex arms uh, holster. And this is on the QLS fork system setup. So I'm a big fan of this setup because then I can swap holsters in and out. Uh, for example, I do have a level two ALS holster that I run a lot that I like putting in here. However, right now it's just this holster. So it's nice to be able to swap out holsters and pistols as you want, as you need. And that's a pretty slick and cool system. Uh, I also have the T-Rex arms leg strap because I like to be cool and I like my gear to stick to me. In general, I keep the entire back clean. Uh, that is because I do a lot of sitting when I'm in this. Most often I end up wearing this when I'm teaching um, and I'm sitting down between rounds and stuff and I like to be comfortable. Uh, also, if you're going to ride in a vehicle or anything like that, um, you know, you don't want stuff on your back because it makes sitting difficult. So that's why I keep the entire middle of the back section empty. I have two mags. These are uh, STAC, STAC Kiwi pouches. I think these are the mid or the shorts. I think these are the mids. Uh, and I have two of them here. I usually just run one, but I like to have the second one on there because every once in a while I like to carry two rifle mags. It does start to weigh a decent amount, so that's why I usually don't do it. Uh, however, I like to, like I said, maintain the option, so I keep two on there. Uh, gloves, because you always got to have gloves when you're shooting rifles and stuff. Uh, same thing, STAC uh, pistol pouches. You know, these are just the Glock mags, obviously, to go with the Glock. Uh, but, you know, they take a variety of double stack mags. So, big, big fan of the STAC Kiwis in general. They're super cool and uh, they have very good retention. As you can see, uh, well, with allowing you quick access in and out. So, huge fan of the STAC pouches. Right here, this is a dump pouch. This is a Maxpedition little, I think it's called a roly poly or something. I don't remember what this is called, but this is just their little dump pouch here that kind of folds out. Uh, I ride this up front because if I ever need to stuff in random things like a shot timer or a little clicker or a whistle or whatever, I can just do that. Also, you know, if you want to run a dump pouch system, which I usually don't, I usually re-index my partial mags, but if I ever wanted to uh, just carry a couple extra mags or, you know, I wanted to run a dump pouch type reload system, whatever. It's there for kind of general use, uh, last minute items. So that's it, that's my whole battle belt. Um, I keep it pretty simple, pretty slick. Now, you may notice there's not an IFAC on this, pow on this belt, and some people I know would call that absolute anathema, and how dare you, and you're gonna die, and all that other stuff. Uh, however, I run my IFAC off my plate carrier. This is made to be worn with my plate carrier. Uh, that's, that's how I can join them. And or I just run an IFAC in my cargo pocket if I'm gonna get all suited and booted. So that's how I run this typical battle belt setup. Hope that's helpful, hope that gives you some ideas. Do brave deeds and endure.